interesting for people they uh, look the conocity project of, of COSI, uh, knowledge uh, structures and uh, definitely a threshold concept between the hierarchical structures of knowledge and uh, linear structures of knowledge. A lot of the work I've done in recent years has been with clinical students and what is very evident when you work with that sort of student is that they have two knowledge structures to balance. One is the, the linear structure of, of practice, the clinical practice, which is always in linear procedures. And the other knowledge structure they have to balance is uh, the, the structure of science, which tends to be hierarchical. And what we find is that the difficulty that the students have is to relate theory and practice. And so we're looking at the interface between these two knowledge structures. And one of the, the, the working theories that we have is that the space between these knowledge structures is occupied by what, what have been called threshold concepts. So particular concepts which once grasped by the students are transformative of their understanding and they also integrate the two halves of their knowledge. And so, for example, in, in, in uh, clinical science, we, we talk about things like care being a threshold concept or the patient being a threshold concept. These are things that are often not explicitly taught, but the experts would consider to be intuitive and therefore very often the students miss them because they're not explicitly taught. Can find uh, one teacher on how can find the, the students the, the This is the holy grail really of, of finding threshold concepts and um, I, was, I was at the Threshold Concepts conference earlier this year in Dublin and this is one of the things that um, troubles people is finding what is the threshold concept in my subject and I think in some subjects it, it's probably very straightforward so my, my initial discipline was biology and I think most biologists would probably agree that the overall threshold concept for biology is evolution because it integrates the whole discipline. Um, in other subjects it may be less well defined and certainly in newer subjects it may be less well defined and whether there's one or more thresholds and how these threshold concepts link to each other is also something that is still to be really decided for each discipline. And because each discipline is also structured differently, the position of those threshold concepts may also be different. So there's an awful lot still to research.